In this video, we will be discussing how to view Bill of Materials inside of SOLIDWORKS PDM. We can see how the Bill of Materials table can be customized to show custom properties, how to activate a Bill of Materials, as well as export a Bill of Materials to a CSV file. Using SOLIDWORKS PDM, we will be able to manage all of our referenced files, as well as compare these files to older versions using that Bill of Materials tab. For the first part of this video, we will be covering Bill of Materials columns. I'll be using this example vault today where we'll be focusing on this flashlight folder here. This represents a light assembly here with all of its referenced components. When I select that light assembly, we can see a preview here of the top level assembly and all of the components as well. To see which components are being referenced by this assembly, we can go over to the Bill of Materials tab. The first thing that we're going to cover here is this bill of materials columns. So we can see how this can be customized to show whichever information that you want to see on your bill of materials. I can see that I have multiple different bill of materials views here. I have a manager bomb. So this will show things like description, drawing number, quantity, state, material. Or I could go to my regular bomb view, which will show us things like our revision. So whatever information is important to you can be customized to be shown in this bill of materials view. To do so, we'll go ahead and activate the admin tool here. And inside of the admin tool, if I go ahead and log in, we can see that we have bill of materials node. I can see I have my regular bomb view as well as that manager bomb view. Looking at my two bill of materials views, these can be created and customized to show whatever information is important to you inside of your bill of materials tab. In this example, we'll be using the manager bomb, but again, you could create whatever bill of materials view that you would like to show here inside of the admin tool. But for this example, let's go ahead and look at this manager bomb view that I already have created. If I open this up, I can see I have some default column names here, and I can add whichever columns I'd like. So if I added a new column, I can choose from all of my variables here, and maybe something like vendor will be important to me. So I'll go ahead and I'll add in this vendor variable, and I can see that this will add to the column view of my bill of materials tab. So we can choose who has the rights. I can see my admin here has the rights to activate a computed bomb, as well as see the computed bomb. With the see computed bomb permission active, this will allow the user to actually be able to see what's being shown in that bill of materials tab. That activated computed bomb permission is something we'll talk about in the next section. This permission here will give you the ability to activate a computed bomb. So with my vendor variable added here, I can go ahead and I can press OK. And now we can see that if I bring back up my local view, we can see that if I go to the light assembly here, I now have this vendor column. So I can see this swivel part was purchased from the Acme flashlight parts. And if any of these other files had that information populated, it would be shown here. Another thing that we can do with our bill of materials is to activate them. So for example, if you had somebody who needed to purchase all of these parts, they probably don't care about all of the extra information inside of this folder, right? All of these drawings and parts, maybe if I had PDFs or Word documents that were associated with them. We want to filter this out so the person who's purchasing these parts will just see our bill of materials. So what we can do is we can activate our bill of materials. I can see that at the moment it is not active. And if you have that permission that we just looked at in the last portion of the video, if you have the permission to activate a computed bomb, you can see here, I can change this to activated. And what that does is it activates this bill of materials for my light assembly. Now, if somebody who needed to purchase these components were to access my flashlight folder, what we can do is I don't need to see the bill of materials for all of these components. I just want to see the one that's active. So by going to display and show bill of materials, you can see it's only going to show the one that is active. I can see it's showing the current view as well as the version that is active. I can see we have version 14, which is active. So if someone needed to purchase these components, they can change their display style to show bill of materials. This will show all of the bill of materials that are active. It will not show any that are not active. 
And now I can see as maybe somebody who doesn't have as much CAD experience can easily see the components that need to be ordered. Coming back to that bill of materials tab of my light assembly, we're going to focus on this top right hand corner of the bill of materials tab. Here are a few options such as save the bill of materials, open as a CSV file. We can search for anything inside of the bill of materials, especially if it's really long and you know you're looking for a component. We can compare our bill of materials to older versions or revisions as well as switch our view. So just like we did in the previous portion of this video, instead of using display show bill of materials, this button over here in the top right switch view does the same exact thing. So we can switch that view back and forth and we'll take a look at some of these other tools as well. So open as a CSV file, it's going to ask me if I want to create a level column. Maybe that's a specific column that I have created here. I'll say yes, I do want to create that inside of my Excel file. So I'll press yes. And I can see this is going to open up Excel for me, where it's going to give me all of my referenced components inside of here. And I can see that it's created that level column for me as well. So we can see by just clicking a button here, we were able to export our bill of materials directly to Excel. Making our way through here, we can see I can search for things inside of my bill of materials. So maybe if I wanted to search for battery, I can press search and I'll see it'll bring that right up for me directly inside of the bill of materials. And lastly, we can look at this compare tool. So if I use this compare button over here, what that's going to allow me to do is use the current version of my bill of materials, which I can see is my manager bomb view as well as version 15. And I can choose which version or revision do I want to compare that to? So I can choose from my list here of all of my versions and revisions. I can even scroll all the way back down to when this was created. So by comparing version 15 to version 1, I can see in the bottom right hand corner they're going to show us green is for anything that is new that has been added since version 1, yellow is anything that has been modified, and red is anything that has been deleted. So I can see here in red, this end cover component has been deleted. I can see this green light L PDF has been added to my bill of materials. And I can see things like my vendor component on my round swivel cap, as well as my clip component have both been modified. So by using this compare bomb button, we were able to compare our bill of materials at its current version to any of the previous versions or revisions to see what has changed. So we were able to see how we can customize our bill of materials to show all the necessary information that we need, as well as activate bill of materials to make them easier to find for non CAD users. Lastly, we were able to export our bill of materials to Excel and compare them to older versions and revisions. If you've liked this video, please be sure to check out our YouTube channel.